Sometimes you may want to apply a voltage source to your circuit whose characteristics have been derived from an external source, whether it's a WAV file or just a list of time and voltage instances. LTSPICE allows you to do this and this video will show you how. Welcome to this LTSPICE 4 voltage sources video. I'm your host Simon Bramble. In this video I'll show you how to import and export WAV audio files in LTSPICE as well as how to read a list of piecewise linear values from a text file to create infinitely complicated simulation voltages. LTSPICE has the ability to import an audio WAV file and use it as a stimulus to your circuit. I recorded the jingle to this presentation on my cell phone, converted it to WAV format and then copied it to the directory containing my LTSPICE file. I could then use this WAV file to stimulate my circuit. To do this I created an LTSPICE file containing a voltage source and a resistor and set the transient analysis to 15 seconds. I then held down the control key and right clicked over the voltage source and entered the line wave file equals jingle.wav in the value line where jingle.wav is my saved audio file from earlier. You can then run the simulation as normal and probe the output voltage to show the waveform of the recorded audio. You can also do it the other way around. Export the output of a voltage source to a WAV file. Again, I set up a circuit with a voltage source feeding into a resistor. I set the voltage source to output a 1 kHz 1V tone and label the output voltage as OUT. You then need to instruct LTSPICE to output the voltage to a WAV file. For this, I modified the example in the LTSPICE help files which can be seen by hitting the F1 button. Select the SPICE directive icon in the top right hand corner of the screen and use the dot wave command together with the path name to specify the target WAV file together with the resolution, sample rate and voltage to digitize. For convenience I put the whole path name in speech marks as LTSPICE does not like path names with spaces. Run the simulation and LTSPICE will create a WAV file that can be played using your local media player. Once you have learned to import and export WAV files, you can use LTSPICE to read a WAV file, run the simulation, then export the output voltage to another WAV file to check your results. We are now going to look at how to import piecewise linear values from a text file. If you have a piece of test equipment measuring, for example, a transducer output, you can take the time and voltage readings from this and apply them to your LTSPICE circuit to see how your circuit will behave. To demonstrate this, I used Excel to generate 10,000 random numbers, each one microsecond apart. I copied these values to a text file, which I called random.txt, and saved this in my LTSPICE directory. The text file must contain only two columns. The first column contains the times, and the next column contains the voltages, with a white space separating the two. In LTSPICE, as before, I set up a voltage source feeding into a 1K resistor. I saved this in the same directory as my random.txt file. Right-clicking over the voltage source and selecting the PWL file radio button allowed me to browse to my text file. I set the transient analysis to 10 milliseconds and ran the simulation. We can see that we have a random output changing every microsecond with an amplitude of 1 volt. So now we can see that the voltage source can bring much more functionality to your LTSPICE circuit than just AC and DC stimulation. For more information or to download a free copy of LTSPICE, please visit us at www.linear.com forward slash LTSPICE. Thank you for watching and I wish you the best in your simulations.